Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you information on the Black Armory. This is the DLC that comes out in December this year. What this DLC will offer and much more direct from a source who doesn't want to be named. But I can tell you guys, his information hasn't let me down yet. But you may want to take it with a pinch of salt because these details haven't been confirmed by Bungie. But in my opinion, most if not all this information will end up being correct. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest Destiny 2 videos and never miss any I upload, hit that bell button to turn notifications on. Okay, so like I said, take this information with a pinch of salt. Although it's from a credible, reliable source, it still doesn't mean it's 100% legit. Things can change. Things can be scrapped. As you guys well know but the information here upon me doing research as much research as i possibly could does indeed make sense and the information i've seen from various other leaks points towards what i'm about to tell you guys being actually legit okay so let's start the black armory dlc now all we have seen so far on this is a little twab about it and a little feature in the viaduct which you guys will see on screen now part of the annual pass the annual pass is a result of our learning and looking over this last year of how people have responded to uh, Osiris and Warmind and the things that they've really they've resonated. Escalation protocols. Escalation protocols and, okay. and the hidden quests uh, in Warmind and the Whisper quest and a lot of the things we're doing in Forsaken that we haven't even talked about, like those types of things. Uh, are really exciting and we think are going to excite players more. So the three that are, are coming, Black Armory, Black Armory Joker's Wild, Joker's Wild Penumbra. and Penumbra. Yeah. What if there was this elite group of crafters who created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe and you're going to get exclusive access to this vault that has the greatest weapons ever created in the Golden Age. Now the main DLC image we see an EXO. The DLC according to my sources centers around an EXO called Gaunt, a mysterious EXO that maintains the Black Armory. Now after looking up and researching Gaunt, although the name is a familiar one within the lore community, not much is known about this EXO. What I did find was something interesting though and that was within the description of the Destiny 1 fusion rifle the 77 Wizard. You guys must remember this beast. It states, the Exo called Gaunt is a gunsmith famous for his wizards. Now with this DLC being based around a new armory, the Black Armory, and an Exo being at the helm, it makes sense that this Exo is Gaunt, and is actually a gunsmith for sure. The additional campaign revolves around us unlocking the Black Armory and its secrets, and this will be set on Earth the EDZ. Vex are supposed to be a major part in the additional story. So the Black Armory and any new additional feature will mainly take part on the EDZ, but we will talk more about what's coming with the DLC in regards to features in a second. Heavy machine guns are returning, we know this, this has been confirmed by Bungie, but with them the Thunder Lord returns, I've also made a video on this a few days back. But guys, that isn't the only exotic coming back. The Last Word and the Icebreaker have also been mentioned. Now, I also covered a video on the Last Word about a week ago, but the Icebreaker is new news to me. Such a classic D1 weapon, a weapon that Bungie nerfed because I thought it was OP at one stage. They brought it back as a year two weapon, and it's just it's just a beast. Everyone loves the Icebreaker. It's a weapon I feel would fit quite well in now within Destiny 2 and the way it plays out. If it does return, I actually think it will come back with a twist and be an energy weapon for sure. But what do you guys think? The last word, the Icebreaker, the Fawn, the Galhorn, the Vex me forecast are amongst the most exotic weapons in D1. Slowly but surely, I'm confident all will return. But if I get any more information on all the exotics returning guys, you guys know where you will find that information. Yes, right here on the channel. Okay, so more about the additions to the EDZ upon the Black Armour's release. The EDZ will be home to a new activity called the Forge of the Chain. This is like a horde mode, kind of similar to the Escalation Protocol and Blind Well. The Escalation Protocol is the feature of Mars and the Blind Well is the feature of the Dreaming City. They're kind of similar activities in a way. 
both new to Destiny 2. And these kind of features, these kind of modes, these kind of activities, I feel one will be created with every DLC in the future. And we have a new one with the Black Armoury. This new activity will have a unique loot pool attached to it. Now I like the blind well, more so than I like the escalation protocol, but I feel we need more than both. Hopefully this delivers there. I mentioned in my video on the last word about a week ago that this new horde mode will have its own loot pool attached to it for certain stages, meaning the longer you last, the harder it gets and the better the loot gets. But no doubt this game will have an end. I mean it can't be unlimited, there has to be stages to it, like EP. I just really hope these stages and how they are drawn out don't get tedious like the EP does. I mean, if you've spent as much time as me doing the EP chasing certain weapons, you will know exactly what I mean. Shit gets boring as heck real quick now. The grind is cool, but after a while, it starts getting frustrating in my opinion. I mean, there's only so much these can offer. I mean, once you farm the heck out of them, I mean, there's not much to keep going back for. The Forge of the Chain, this is where I hope a bunch of make changes and keep enticing us back. I mean, Bungie could take a horde kind of mod many different ways. Keeping with the theme used to create the Forsaken expansion though, if they do that, I will have no doubt, this new mode will be a great addition for sure. You gotta remember though, the Black Armoury isn't a major, major expansion like the Forsaken was. So we will see people, we will see. Moving on, and new exotics. So there will be new additional exotics added to the game when the Black Armoury is released. Some of these new exotics are tied to Black Armoury quests. Quests we will be pursuing to unlock powerful exotics from the Black Armoury one by one. Now with Word of the Thunderlord, The Last Word and the Icebreaker, could these odd exotics be tied to the Black Armoury exotic quests? I mean it makes sense for sure if the Black Armoury is going to be a thing we have to farm these weapons for like many believe. If there's certain quests tied to the Black Armoury, could these odd exotics be what we will be pursuing? I mean, it makes sense for sure, but would you be happy in Bungie bringing back odd exotics and locking them behind quest lines? Especially via a DLC we paid for. I mean, theoretically, we already paid for these exotics in D1. But what do you think? Let me know down below within that comment section. I mean, I'm happy for them to return. If they're back with a twist and they're slightly different, I'm happy for them to be basically locked behind quests. It gives us things to chase, it gives us things to grind for, and that's what we like. That's what us hardcore Destiny players are like. But we will see people, we will see, we know the Black Army from the little video we got from the Vidoc. It will have some crazy ass weapons. Could some of these be also tied behind the Black Army and whatever this feature is? I'm guessing so. Okay, so we're going to move on. So within the Black Army DLC, we get a new raid layer. This is being confirmed by Bungie. It's old news. The raid layer though will be set on EDZ, along with the Forge of the Chain, and I think everything else that comes with the Black Armoury DLC, and this will centre around the Hive and a powerful threat underneath. And that's basically all the details I have. Now it makes sense with everything else via the Black Armoury being shipped to the EDZ, I just don't know why I thought it would be an additional add-on to the Last Wish like the red layers with the leviathan. I mean this could still be the case, like I said, take this with a pinch of salt, none of it has been confirmed yet. But it's just information my reliable source confirms is legit. And like I said, he hasn't let me down yet. Okay, so the last thing to cover, and this part being the most interesting for sure, and that is a new weapon type. Now all I know is that this new weapon type is known as black. So these are black weapons. These weapons are believed to be what we saw slightly within the Black Army Viaduct edition. These black weapons I believe will be unique in the way they perform. Probably like a certain set of weapons. Now like I said, all we know is so far that there's the new weapon type and they're black weapons. I mean, does this mean the rarity of the weapon? Does this mean the style of the weapon? Does this mean a certain type of weapon? We don't know yet. I don't believe they will come with a fourth energy type, even though data mind audio files from my while back do talk about a fourth energy. That could be included here for sure with this new weapon type, but I just don't believe that to be the case. And if it was, I'm pretty sure my source would know about it. But a new weapon type known as Black Weapons are supposedly coming with a Black Armoury DLC. But we will see people, we will see. But yeah guys, that is it for the video. We get a new non-playable vendor called Gaunt, a new horde mode activity, new story, a new red layer, all set on earth, a new weapon type, all new exotics and returning odd exotics, and much much more. Sounds great! 
Let's hope my source comes true again. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Tell me what you think about what's been covered and mentioned today. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top 5 gameplays, reviews, latest news, leaks, just about everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.